Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use uh, ChatGPT for generating MATLAB code. Okay. And in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, two kind of uh, uh, example. Uh, one is for generating the MBBT code by using ChatGPT. That means uh, MATLAB MBBT code using ChatGPT and also we have to use uh, chat gpt for uh, creating the fuzzy logic code for tipping example okay so let go inside that video so this is a, a chat gpt main window okay so here you can see that so here you can provide the uh, question and then based upon the question the chat gpt will provide the answer so now i am going to provide uh, some question for the chat, chat gpt uh, relevant to MATLAB code, so how it going to be respond for that? Okay, so I'm going to provide. Can you write MATLAB code on P and O in BPT? So I'm going to enter. So we will see the response. So here you can see that yes, I can write simple MATLAB code for P and O. MBPT. So here you can see that it will pro providing some code for a uh, PNT MBPT. So it is insane. <laughs> okay, you can use uh, this chat GPT for creating uh, some uh, simple code for your application or your uh, classroom assignments. Okay, so here you can see that. So it will provide the uh, code for that uh, PNT MBPT. Okay. After getting this code, right, we have to test the code in MATLAB also whether it will be work or not. Okay, so first we move on, and that means after completion of this uh, writing code, right. So, here, so this is a simple implementation of a PNDO MPPD algorithm, and the result may not be accurate. So, in real world scenario, the model PV panel and the environmental condition should be taken into account. So, it returns some basic code. Okay, just I'm going to copy this one and again i'm come to matlab right so here i'm going to create new a new script and then i'm going to paste it here and then save this code as test one okay so now i'm going to execute the code whether it will be work or not whether it will be execute or not so we don't know so we have to check the detail so here you can see that it is executing and then it will provide the the maximum power is around 199.9978 and then voltage at maximum power is 447.3 volt and then the current at maximum power is 0 0.44732 so it, it will pro uh, that means uh, it write the code based upon some data they have right so here you can see that the maximum power the open circuit voltage short circuit current the maximum voltage that means voltage at maximum power point and then current at maximum power point so it will be have some detail so based upon the detail it returns some code so here you can see that uh, based upon the power uh, that means maximum power from current in, uh, uh, instant to previous instant right like that so they compare the uh, current power with the, the maximum power based upon that it going to change the the voltage okay and then it going to calculate the current right so it <laughs> return some code for that uh, uh, p and o mbpt so this is a simple concept so simple uh, p and o code so based upon the power comparison okay so whatever you are asking so it will provide some code in the matlab so you can use that code for your assignment purpose okay so now i am going to ask um, chat gpt for writing matlab code for fuzzy logic okay so please write MATLAB code for fuzzy logic to uh, tipping. Okay, so we will see that how it going to write the code for fuzzy logic. Okay, so here is uh, that means it is writing some code. Okay, I don't know whether it is correct or not. We will check the result after 
completing the code in MATLAB okay if it having some problem then we need to look the error and then you have to correct it ourselves so it's writing some code I, I don't know whether it, it, it is right according with the MATLAB uh, commands so we need to check that one okay so here I'm going to open new script and then paste it here and then I'm going to execute this one so first I'm going to save and then it executed I think so it is executed so here you can see that I'm going to click uh, so here you can see that we are getting TPS around 19.955 so what will be the input so here input we are providing 9 right because the, the quality of service is in between 0 to 10 so for example I'm going to provide the input here is 3 and then the output will be 3 okay so we write the code for a puzzle logic uh, also right so before that you have to check the um, fuzzy inference system right so fuzzy inference system here the return service right service add rule add rules right and then service is the fuzzy inference system so i'm going to type fuzzy here and then i'm going to open that uh, fuzzy file okay that means so import from workspace and i'm going to type service enter okay so now you can see that this, this is a fuzzy logic system is created for that tipping problem so here you can see that the quality of service poor good and excellent and then here you can see that tipping percentage low average high and then you can see the rules so here they created three rules okay and then you can see the rule here if you can change the input so the tipping also will be changed right so chat cpt is writing uh, code for fuzzy logic also okay so in matlab right so you can use that chat cpt for writing matlab code according with your assignment homework or your uh, area right so use chat cpt wisely thank you